Today I'll be saying a story uh, today our story is entitled Winning a Princess. It comes from the book of 1 Samuel chapter 18 verse 1 to 29. And it the day David killed Goliath was a turning point in his life. He never went back to his sheep. From that day, Saul kept David with him and did not let him return to his father's house. For a while, he was everybody's hero. King and people loved him dearly. Jonathan, Saul's son, took a great interest in the young shepherd boy, giving him his tunic and even his sword, his bow, and his belt. David was placed in a high rank in the army. This pleased all the people and Saul's officers as well. Some boys' heads would have been turned by so much praise, but not David's. He behaved wisely, and in everything he did, he had great success. Because the Lord was with him, when he had returned from his successful attack upon Goliath, the woman came out from all the towns of Israel to meet King Saul with singing and dancing with joyful songs and with tambourines and lutes. As they danced, they sang. Saul has slain his thousands, David his ten, tens of thousands. This was too much for Saul. He began to feel jealous of David. He didn't like having the people say that David was ten times as good as a soldier than he was. The Bible says, from that time on, Saul kept a jealous eye on David. The next day, brooding about what the woman had sung, had sung. Saul suddenly became so angry and threw a spear at David as he was playing the harp in the palace. Fortunately, David saw the weapon coming and dodged it out of its way. In despite of his jealousy, however, the king didn't forget his promise to give his daughter in marriage to the young man who killed Goliath. He couldn't. Too many people had heard what he had said. Knowing how much he loved David, they loved David, he didn't dare go back on his word. But he cheated. So, when the time came for Merab, Saul's daughter, to be given to David, she was given in marriage to Adriel. Saul sent word to David that he could marry his other daughter, Michal. If he would kill a hundred Philistines, he hoped that David would be killed in the fighting. But he wasn't. He came back alive and victorious. And now there was nothing Saul could do but give him Michal. So, the shepherd boy won a princess and became the king's son-in-law. I wish I could say that they lived happily ever after. But they didn't. True, Saul's daughter Michal was in love with David. But Saul became still more afraid of him. 
and he remained his enemy the rest of his days. It could have been such a happy family if only envy and jealousy had spoiled it all. Children, what do we learn from this story? We learn, we learn that jealousy is not good. And if you're jealous of someone, you should always pray to God to guide you and help you. Proverbs chapter 27 verse 4 tells us, Anger is cruel and wrath is like a flood, but jealousy is even more dangerous. Amen? <laughs>